This fight takes place in Renders, Denmark, as Ken Buchanan comes out of a four-year retirement to face Benny Benitez. Benitez is 22 years old. He fights out of Springfield, Massachusetts. He's advertised as having a 6-in-1 record, as well as being the cousin of a Wilfred Benitez. But his own career is brief, having only 12 fights. But he did take on the likes of Buchanan, Pee Wee Rucker, Kenny Bogner, and future champion Hilmer Kenty. Uh, meanwhile, Ken Buchanan comes into this fight at 34 years old. Uh, he lost his lightweight title to Roberto Duran in 1972, failed to regain it from uh, Guts Ishimatsu in 1975, before he went into retirement in 1976. Buchanan claimed that he wasn't coming back for the money. He simply felt that he had more boxing left in him. Uh, medical doctors did scrutinize him before the fight, but a lot of fans and reporters were surprised that he was coming back after such a long layoff. Uh, an Evening Standard editorial wrote that, quote, Buchanan tries to prove that time, even after a four-year absence from boxing, does not destroy all our skills in the end. Lightweight champion of the world on his 34th birthday against Benny Benitez. He's a Puerto Rican who lives in Springfield, Massachusetts. Looks remarkably fit, uh, Buchanan, normally lightweights, when they get over the 30, that's the great divide. But this fellow's always kept in shape. And he's the only licensed boxer's manager I know who's still fighting. In fact, he's got a boxer on the same bill here in Randers. Billy Lauder from Scotland. And let's see what the timing's like now for Buchanan. He's been looking pretty good in training. But until the real thing, you can't really tell whether time has caught up with him or not. He's only lost three of 60 fights and was undoubtedly the best away fighter that Britain produced for many, many years. Well, even in these opening seconds, it's rather a flashback, looking like the old Buchanan. But, of course, this game is all about staying power. And we've got to see if he can do it or whether he has to stay that long with this fellow. I shouldn't have thought so. Benitez weighed nine, nine stone 12, and Buchanan was inside the lightweight championship limit at nine, eight and a half. And you can see a lot of the craft coming up there, but you see, being out the ring, you get caught with what the boxers call silly punches. Benitez only had seven fights. I suppose on that form, he's not entitled to catch Buchanan with anything. I love that hairstyle of Benitez. I'm wondering whether he's carrying his head guard tucked in there somewhere. I'd always like to see that boxing skill from the former world champion. He's really almost trying to make an exhibition of it. A little bit of that, well, it's arrogance, I suppose, from Buchanan. That's what kept him at the top. That's why he was such a gritty champion. And that clapping, by the way, is not the slow hand clap derisory stuff that we have in Britain. That's applause from the Danish crowd. A sensible searching start from the Scot. Wants to just see what Benitez is all about and the end of the first round. Well, there he is, man who's seen everything in boxing. What a great champion he was in his time as well. And probably hopes to get back in again. He says he didn't return to the ring just because Jim Watt, another Scot, is the present world lightweight champion because his batteries hadn't run down. He still had a love of the game and he wanted to see what he could do. But he's going to have quite a few fights in Denmark if he wins this one. Benny Benitez, there you are, the, the boxing coach who comes from Harlem, trying to tell Benitez what it's all about and not even bothering to give him a sit down yet. And uh, he way mill well needed.
Second round. Scheduled for eight rounds this comeback of Buchanan. Obviously won the first round on all round boxing skill and that evasiveness, which he found very easy against this fellow who, let's face it, would have only been a sparring partner of Buchanan at his best. Always a great deal of concern goes through a fighter's mind when he comes back. On many ways, he's in a hiding to nothing. Having won a world championship, where do you go from there? He runs a hotel in Edinburgh, Buchanan, which was one of the reasons he said he packed up the game a little earlier than he wanted to because he wanted to get on with that. Now he finds he's got a bit more free time. He wants to get back in the game while he's still in good shape. Well, Benitez... Typical Puerto Rican type, busy, bustling away there. And I must say, he doesn't have too much respect for Buchanan's reputation. But it uh, doesn't seem to carry that much of a whack. Which, uh, just as well for Kenny, but he's catching him all right. Well, on that little flurry of punches, it's not quite the pushover that we thought Benny Benitez might be with only seven fights, and he's won five of those, stopped with a cut in the other and outpointed in the other one. Well, lots of old-fashioned tricks from Ken Buchanan, but he's uh, got to get on with it there, and the Danish referee advising Benitez not to hold on. and kind of feeling his way into the fight a bit more now. Obviously had a lot of strain. Not so much at the class or craft of the opposition, but just the thought of coming back, even coming back to shadow box publicly, could be a bit humiliating if the world champions lost his timing. Four years out. He won all five fights here in Copenhagen in his heyday. So third round then, the return of Ken Buchanan, the former lightweight champion of the world. Now, of course, titleless. He gave up. European Championship and his last fight having retained it in Sardinia against Giancarlo Usai and I think I lost a little bit of urge for the game and wanted to get on with his hotel business in Edinburgh and Buchan by the way tells me he never did run away from Duran as he thinks I might have suggested during a commentary between Duran and Palomino but Duran really wouldn't give him the return he wanted after Duran had taken his title in Madison Square Garden. It's amazing in America where you can go in and find these Puerto Ricans all shapes and sizes who always come and give somebody a good fight anywhere around the world. And Benitez, very limited experience, only had nine amateur contests, he told me. But it's Buchanan now, starting to put his punches together now, finding a bit more range. But finding Benitez a little gamer than he thought.
chancing that right hand a bit now, Buchanan. He's missing with it a bit. Third time on the turn, he missed there with it. But that's the one, if he nails him, he'll go with that one. Surprised that the Puerto Rican is lolling on those ropes. He's got nowhere to go from there, and Buchanan knows it. Certainly the Danish crowd enjoy boxing skill. Hey, they rather like watching it almost in cathedral-like silence if they're enjoying a contest. Just caught him with the right hand I was mentioning now. Just got the end of it. He was pulling away from it a bit, Benita. It's more by luck than judgment. What a nagging little fighter he is, the Puerto Rican. Well, a little bit of catcher's catch can there. And then... Well, no change of expression at all there on Buchanan's face. He's uh, recruited the aides of the matchmaker, Paddy Byrne, who lives in Brighton, but uh, works here for the Danish promoter. And his father, Tommy, on the outside of the ring there, just giving him a slight wash and brush up there between rounds. And over in Benitez's corner now, they don't seem to be too worried about it. They've let him sit down. And the manager there who runs a boxing school in Harlem and carrying the name of another boxer on his back there, by the way, seemed to be Santa Benitez. Uh, OK, you're not doing too badly at all. So fourth round, start of the halfway stage for Kenny Buchanan. Uh, he didn't brag at all that he thought he could win in a couple of rounds because he didn't know what his timing would be like against Benitez. And it takes four rounds, I would have thought, after four years in activity to get sharp again, and he's done it. Looks as though he's going to give him a stand in eight count. No, he's not. I wondered what that was all about. Just got tangled up there. But early in the week for wrestling. Well, I used to say when Buchanan was at his best when he used that left hand jab, that was almost as reliable as a Greenwich time signal. There it goes. <laughs> you can't be a little bit too playful there. I'd rather not see him get into that showboating stuff and get on with his business. Far more impressive you can when he got some of that fast left hand jabbing. He's playing to the crowd a bit, the Scotty. They're amused by that stuff, but nonetheless, he's taken a few punches there that he need not.
And I doubt whether at 34, Buchanan's worrying about Benitez running out of gas, who's only 21. The only way you can do that is by landing punches. A little bit of blood around uh, Buchanan's left eye. That's a turn up for the book in every sense. I don't think it's coming from the head of Benitez at all. And spot that at all. A little bit of messing around in the clinches with the heads knocking together. Gat and I fear taking it a bit too easy now. He's got to get on with the work. So there you are, just a little bit of the adrenaline coagulate there going on Buchanan's small cut over the left eye. A bit disappointing for him. I wouldn't have thought he had any idea he'd get cut against this class of opponent who, you know, is still in the sort of preliminary league compared with Buchanan as a great former lightweight champion of the world. So that's something for him, I'm afraid, to worry about now. Sixty fights can be cut and only lost three, two with close fifteen rounds verdicts, and the other one stopped by Roberto Duran seven years ago. And the other one in Madrid and one in Tokyo. In round five, and I imagine the side of blood small that it is on buchanan's right eye has spurred on benny benitez the puerto rican from massachusetts well they always say with a boxer the last thing to leave him is his punch We've seen a bit of good footwork from Buchanan. Now he's got to show us whether he can still dig. And uh, if he can't do it against this class of opponent, one wonders whether he'll want to go on with his career at this age. No doubt, of course, the how this score is going. It's uh, a bit one way, but little Puerto Ricans giving him, as they say in the American fight game, a bit of a rumble. I think in the fifth round now, Buchanan realizing the difference between training in the gymnasium with head guards and bigger gloves and feeling fairly confident and then having to do it as they say live and for real Buchanan at best had no bigger admirer than me and uh, he really carried the banner for Britain and certainly for Scotland all around the world and uh, I wish him well in his comeback but at the moment well he's making it an easy workout but on the other hand I want to see him look impressive and he is it's almost as though he's responding to what I'm saying there always kept in shape during the four years of serious boxing uh, managing fighters in Scotland and training them working out with them
little Puerto Rican, never been outside of the eastern coast of America. This fellow's not in your class, and you ought to be able to do something about it. One would assume that's what he's saying. He certainly looks uh, very fierce about it. Round six. And uh, Benitez given him a fair scuffle and scored his share of points at a couple of rounds, I thought. A little bit more serious now, the Scott. I think he tried a little bit of fancy Dan stuff early on and may have regretted it as it's gone on now to the sixth round. Schedule for eight. A little bit of weight advantage for Benitez at 9.12 compared with uh, Buchanan at 9.8 and a half. Benitez was saying that uh, he remembers he was at school when Buchanan was fighting Duran seven years ago at Madison Square Garden. It's amazing the way Benitez is not interested in getting off the ropes, showing a bit of scorn for Buchanan's punches. Well, there's one thing for sure, you can bet Buchanan's decided at this stage that managing boxers must be a little easier than doing it yourself. Difficult one there for Buchanan. Had he thrown a punch, he could have been disqualified while Benitez without the ring. <laughs> a sort of a phanyite's touch on the head that was. Don't hit me and I won't hit you. Well, Buchanan boxing a bit from memory, but still trying to look for the really hard dig. Well, he needs a wash and brush up at this stage, can Buchanan? He, I think he's worried that uh, Benitez has given him as much trouble as he has. On the other hand, he'll probably say, well, I'd rather have gone the eight rounds in my first comeback fight than have a one-round easy fight because I still wouldn't have known whether I was any good or not. Only one man over there in Benitez's corner. He's not getting all the help in the world. Looks a bit lonely coming to the fight tonight, but uh, seems to be happy with his work. Seventh round. Buchanan ahead, but so the judges say, not by that much. And uh, people around the ringside think, well, he's making a bit of hard work of this. Class still there, but a little bit of ring rust, as always.
Gallagher, of course, never really runs out of ideas, but he must be saying to himself at this stage, well, I haven't got much longer, three, four minutes now to the end of the fight. What am I going to do with this fellow? certainly getting caught with punches probably that the old Buchanan wouldn't have got caught with. Just as well they weren't that powerful looking but all punches hurt. Benitez surprisingly is blowing a bit there and that's, I think that's why he propped himself up on the ropes. It's, a little trouble with that large gum shield that he's carrying. Often a sign of a tired fighter when that starts dropping. Imagine Buchanan now saying, well, stand still, I want to hit you, but little Benitez is a bit too smart for that. And he's giving it a go. Well, a friendly touch at the end of the seventh round from Kenny Buchanan, as though to say, are you all right, mate? But I don't think Benitez needed that kind of sympathy. He's done fairly well. The great conference going on there in Buchanan's corner. And coming up for the last round. So the eighth and final round for the comeback of Kenny Buchanan, 34 today, presented with a bouquet of flowers in the ring. It's his 11th anniversary, and he also happens to be moving today in Edinburgh, so he's not too sure when he gets home where to find his wife, Carol, I don't think. He's made considerably hard work, I think, of beating Benitez. You've got to make allowances, obviously, for four years out of the ring. But this class of opponent, who is strictly preliminary class, with only seven fights and won five of them, you'd have thought perhaps Buchanan would have put him in his place a little earlier than this. Buchanan, as I say, emphasizes he didn't come back because Jim Watt of Scotland's now the world lightweight champion, holder of his old title. He just felt that uh, he had enough energy and enough enjoyment of boxing to want to come back again, and I suppose get a few bob at the same time. But 
very often heavyweights over their 30s can keep going but in the lighter weight division it gets a little bit difficult when you pass that age oh and he paid for that one well i suppose that's a fair punch in puerto rico back streets Buchanan trying to turn on a bit of exhibition stuff in the last round to send the Danish crowd home happy. Almost tapping him on the head when the referee calls break as though he were wrestling to release the hold. Had no trouble with that minor cut there over the left eye of Buchanan. They staunch that quite easily between rounds. And again, you see all the exhibition stuff, the, the old pro and the sparring partner, but it's not what you really want if you're seriously thinking about winning titles again. The full mark to be cut, and he knows how to put on a show. And the crowd enjoying that with a hand clap, and it's all over. And what seems to be a formality of a point decision coming to Cullen's way. So there it is, and Ken Buchanan completes his comeback with a points win over eight rounds. Ken Buchanan, will you weigh up your own feelings about your performance for us? Oh, basically it is, yeah. I didn't feel that tremendously uh, in good condition for the fight. My body was in good condition, my mind was in good condition, but I had too many, I was like a rusty nail. Um, there's a lot of parts of my body that I just didn't feel were, you know, coming out of me. And I feel it's going to take, you know, three or four fights before I shake off all this list and um, I'm really back in swing again. You fancy going all the way if you can, Kenny, or you're just going to fall around in the preliminaries, as they say? Well, we've we'll seen time will tell. A 36-year-old man and I knocked out a young lady like um, I'm only 34 today, like, you know, young 34. And um, I don't know, time will only tell, like, you know, as I say, Reg.